Hey guys, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take a look at Fading In and Fading Out. So for Fading In, I got this track selected here. Basically what I did was I have two guitar tracks in this project. They are panned left and right. I bounced them down to one stereo file so that I can fade them in and out a little bit more efficiently. So first things first, Fading In, Fading Out and cross fading are region based function. So you wanna make sure you have the appropriate region selected first. So as you probably already know, and if you've been following along with some of the tips from the website and this YouTube channel, you should be able to have all the regions on a track selected when you navigate to a track. So if I move off of this track, track 68 B led, group track 67 dirty guitars menace, group. And this is the one that have all my uh, distorted guitar uh, regions on it it should select all the regions on a track. And so when you have all the regions on the track selected, you can see the start and end point of the track. So if I hit control end, 105 bars, two beats, 297 ticks. You see that's where the track ends. Three bars, four beats, 960 ticks. And that's where the track starts at just before measure four. So the thing about this is, as I said, right now all the regions on a track are selected, but to do a fade in a fade out or cross fade, you want to make sure that you have the region or regions you want to work with selected because to do a cross fade, you'll most likely want to have two regions selected. So what I like to do is use the left and right arrows to select the region that I want to work with. So I want to work with the first region here. So what I'm going to do is tap the right arrow twice because the first time I'm going to unselect all the regions. And then the second time is going to select the first region on the track. And then every time I tap the right arrow, it will select the next region on the track. Every time I tap the left arrow, it will select the previous region on the track. So I'm going to tap the right arrow twice. And now if I do control end, 16 bars, four beats, 960 ticks. You'll see that's where that region ends, the first region on the track. Three bars, four beats, 960 ticks. And it starts at measure three. So to do a fade in, once you have the region you want to work with selected, you want to go into the inspector and navigate in the region inspector to the fade in pop-up button. Now you can stop interacting with the track headers and all that and navigate your way over to the inspector, interact with the inspector and so on and so forth. What I personally like to do is open the inspector in its own window and then that way I can use command accent or command grab, whatever you want to call it that key just to the left of number one, that is underneath the escape key. I can use command grab to cycle between open windows and logic and that way I minimize on interacting. So let's take a look at that. I'm gonna press command one to open another copy of this main window. Now in Z project, trap. So now I'm gonna stop interacting. Out of, out of Inspector, group. Now I just navigated over to the inspector with your left arrow. All right, so I'm going to interact with this. In inspector, group. Nine items, expanded, disclosure triangle. And you see this says expanded. So if this says collapsed, that means the table for the region inspector won't show up after the region name. So you got to make sure this is expanded if you want to get to the region inspector option. And that's where the fade in, fade out options are going to be. So I'm going to keep navigating here with your right arrow. Region. Guitar chorus underscore bit two edit text and you see it says region and then that's the name of the selected region right there table row one of 20 mute uncheck checkbox selected and now this is a table where you can interact with to get to the region parameter settings in table row one of 20 mute uncheck checkbox selected mute so i'm just going to navigate with down arrow vo down arrow through this table to get to where it says fade in loop hyphen quantize q swing transpose fine tune flex and follow Gain. More. Expanded to delay. Level 2. Fade in. Pop-up button. All right. So that's the fade in pop-up button. And one thing to note is with the fade in pop-up button, if you view space on this. Menu 2 height. Speed up. You can change it to speed up. Speed up. And Divider. Dim. that's uh, a trick that's used in EDM music a lot, where if you want something to speed up, you just uh, change this to speed up. And then you go over to the slider with via right arrow and adjust the rate at which it speeds up. Um, and then the fade out pop-up button as a slowdown option if you want to slow something down instead of speed it up. All right, so I got it back on fade in and I'm going to go over to a slider. Slider. And if I interact with the slider, you can adjust at the rate at which this fades in. So if I hit space right now, you'll hear the way the region is by default. Three bars, four beats, nine.
So now I want to fade this in. So one thing to note is after you interact with this, VO shift left and right arrow moves in large increments and VO left and right arrow moves in small increments. So if I interact with this in slider. and do VO shift right arrow, 999. now you'll see it's a very drastic fade in if I play this. Three bars, four beats, nine. Versus if I take this back down, I'm going to do VO shift left arrow to take this back to zero. And you see silent when it's on zero, it doesn't say zero or anything like that. But now if I do VO right arrow, it'll just say 10. 10. And if I hit space, you'll see this is a very subtle fade in. Three bars, four beats, 960 ticks. So subtle you don't notice it. That's usually more useful for like a crossfade or something. But then I can do VO right arrow. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100, 120. And let's say from here. Three bars, four beats, 960 ticks. You see it's still quite subtle. Three bars, four beats, 960 right. ticks, 100, 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. So something like uh, VO shift right arrow. 999. This is probably a little bit more what I'm looking for. Three bars, four beats, 960 ticks. I'm going to live with that one for a little bit, see how I like it. All right, so I'm going to stop interacting here. Out of slider. And I'm going to jump back over to the track header because now I want to select an area to fade out. Now in Z project. So I'm back on the track and I'm going to tap the right arrow once to select the next region, which is the region from bar four beat three to measure 17. And if I hit control N, 17 bars, one beat, one tick. You see that is where the selected region ends. So I'm going to back up to about measure 13 because that's where I want my fade out to start. And I'm going to split right there. 16 bars, 15 bars, 14 bars, one, 13 bars, one beat, one tick. So I'm going to split this right there at measure 13. Split regions events at playhead position. And as you know, what is to the right of the playhead is selected, and you can confirm that with control home and control end. I'm going to hit control end. It should say 17. 17 bars, one beat, one tick. If I hit control home. 13 bars, one beat, one tick. It now says 13 instead of bar four beat three. But I want to cut this off before measure 17, because there's a little harmonic thing I do right before measure 17 that I want not to have faded out. So probably around measure 15. 14 bars, one beat, 15 bars, one beat, one tick. Let's see here. Fifteen bars, one beat, one. So I might want to have that feedback fade out a little bit. So I'm going to move up a little bit. So measure 16. 16 bars, one beat, one tick. 16 bars, so one beat, one tick. Probably 16 bars, beat three. 16 bars, two beats, one tick. 16 bars, two yep. beats, one. 16 bars, three beats, one tick. 16 bars, three beats, All one right. tick. So I'm going to split there. Split regions events at playhead position. And now, as you know, the region from bar 16 beat 3 is selected and ends at bar 17. And I can confirm that once again. Control N. 17 bars, 1 beat, 1 tick. And Control Home. 16 bars, 3 beats, 1 tick. So you see that's what's selected. So now if I tap the left arrow once, the region from 13 to bar 16 beat 3 is now selected. And I, if I hit Control Home. 13 bars, 1 beat, 1 tick. You see I'm back there. 16 bars, 3 beats, 1 tick. So now you know that that's the region that's selected. So I'm going to go back to the beginning of this. 13 bars, one beat, one tick. Thirteen bars, one All beat. right. So now I want to fade this out. So I'm going to hit command accent to jump back into the region inspector that I haven't focused in the other window. Now in Z project, tracks, window, slider. And I'm going to hit the left arrow. Fade in, pop up button. You see. Slider. That slider is blank. Remember, we left that on 10,000 and something because that was a fade-in value we had set. But because we have a different region selected, this is blank now because this region hadn't been faded in. But instead, we're going to fade this out. So I'm going to go to the left. Fade in. Pop up and button. And I'm going to go down. Curve. Fade out. Pop up button. And once again, same deal as before. If you real space on this pop-up button. Menu to slow down. There's a slow down option there. So if you want to have a slow down effect instead of a fade out you just switch it to slow down but i'm going to switch this back to fade out check mark fade out press check mark fade out F slider interact with this slider and from here um i can adjust the fade out value same deal vo right arrow and left arrow moves in small increments vo shift right and left arrow moves in large increments so interact with this in slider in slider and i'm gonna do about the same thing so vo shift 999 and you'll see this is a very subtle fade out by comparison.
13 bars, one beat, one tick. So you see that really doesn't start to fade out until the end. So I'm gonna crank this up to about the same that I had before. 9, 2, 000, 9, 3, 4, 000, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 000, 9, 10, 000, 989. All right, let's hit play. Thirteen bars, one beat, right. one tick. So, once again, up slider. Stop interacting with that. Out. Pop up button. We can go past out because we want it to be a fade out. So we're gonna not change this to cross fade. Down arrow one more time. Slider. This is a curved slider here. Interact with this. In slider. And ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Let's see what this sounds like. All right. Thirteen bars, one That's beat, one tick. A little too fast. So I'm gonna back this up. Forty, thirty. See what this sounds like. Thirteen bars, one beat, yeah, one tick. Let's try forty. Forty. Thirteen bars, yeah. one beat, one tick. And that could work as well. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change how I do this. So I'm going to set this back to zero. 30, 20, 10. So that's zero because it's playing. Up slider. Don't say anything. Stop interacting. Uh, 10,989. Slider. Interact with this. In slider. And VO shift left arrow till this is back down to nothing as well. Eight up, five. All right. So you just hear. Three, two, thousand, All right. There we go. All right. So that is back to nothing. Bars one so I'm gonna jump back to the track header here. Now in Z project, Z project, and I'm gonna split this at measure 15 and get rid of the feedback part at the end because I think that will give me a little bit better control of getting a fade out that I want. So I'm gonna move to measure 15. You remember I'm at measure 13 right now. So I'm gonna hit the period a couple times to move forward because period and comma moves you through the project forward and backwards one measure at a time. So if I hit period twice, 14 bars, one, 15 bars, one beat, one tick. That takes me right to measure 15. And remember, we already split at measure 16, beat three. So now if I split here, split regions, events at playhead position, you'll see that this region now just goes from measure 15 to measure 16, beat three. Control N should put me at 16, beat three. 16 bars, three beats, one tick. And control home should put me right back at measure 15. 15 bars, one beat, one tick. So I'm just going to tap the delete key to get rid of that. So now there's nothing selected on the track right now because I just deleted this. So I'm actually going to tap the right arrow a couple times. I just tapped it three times. One more time. Control home. 16 bars, three beats, one tick. I'm going to tap the left arrow once because I selected one region too far. 13 bars, one beat, one tick. Yep, measure 13. 14 bars, four beats, 960 ticks. To just about measure 15. 13 bars, one beat, one tick. All right, so we got this region selected. I'm going to jump back to the fade out dialog. Now in Z project, Z. And fade project this out. Project number two, faster, zero. 13 bars, one beat, I'm one tick. interact with this. In slider. 919, 2000, 3000, 4, 5000, 7, 8000, 9, 9, 10,989. Thirteen bars, one uh, beat, one let's tick. Let's try something a little lower. 9, 8, 000, 7, 6, 900, 5, 13 uh, bars, one beat, one like tick. That. Go down a little bit. 4,989. 13 bars, one beat, one tick. So that's how you do a fade in and a fade out. Hope you found that useful and helpful. If you got anything you'd like to see me cover in a future tutorial or a tip or trick of your own that you'd love to share with the community, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. And as always, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and the blog. Share it with your friends if you think they'll find it useful, if they're into logic as well. And as always, until next time, happy recording.